Hello, Andy here from GAATech.com. This is going to be a short video on how I store my 3D filament for my Ultimaker 2. Um, just before we get into that, obviously I do a lot more than just 3D printing. And on the screen you can see exactly what I do. Anyway, I purchased this box specially as the box itself and the lid have flat edges. So that means when the lid is on the box, uh, air won't uh, enter the box very easily. A lot of these other boxes that I've seen called the very useful box, they have like perforated lids, so they're not sort of semi airtight. Where this is a very sort of semi airtight uh, box, and that's why I bought it. I'm going to do um, a short video into that so you can see it, and I'm going to introduce you to the two items you're seeing now, which are the electronic dehumidifiers and the very inexpensive meters that I bought to put in the box so I could measure the humidity. Anyway, here comes the video. Okay, so here we have the uh, the box that I'm storing my 3D filament in and on the top you can see one of the two uh, meters that I purchased that is measuring the humidity. So, you can see the humidity in the, the room at the moment is 55% and it's a, a very nice warm 19 degrees uh, inside um, and now if we go inside the box you can see it's 29% humidity and a little bit cooler um, so you're seeing the secondary meter which is inside and you're seeing one of the two electronic dehumidifiers that I've purchased so uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to open the box and I'm just going to show you uh, why I purchased this box because of the flat edges. Now I had been looking around for boxes for a little while, um, but this is one of the better ones. I'm just going to move this. You can see that the, the uh, clips keep the, box, the lid down, or however, there is you can barely see it, a little bit of movement here. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to 3D print a clip to um, make sure the, the long edge of the box is clipped tight down. Um, you, you could even go another stage and put foam around the, uh, around the box. Um, so here, here we have the box and you can see that the lid in here has a nice flat section so when the lid is on it joins up with this flat section uh, and it makes a, an almost airtight um, an airtight seal now you could if you wanted to stick some thin foam on this uh, edge here so when the lid went on you would have a an airtight seal as best you could do but uh, I don't really think at this stage is necessary as I had a very good reduction in um, my humidity. So you may be asking why have I still got the filament in bags? Well some of this filament is actually uh, PLA and it doesn't actually absorb moisture. Um, I uh, have Ninja Flex. I've got some glow in the dark. I've got some nylon. Um, but you can see here across the box I've got three spools and it can actually take four spools across I think it was when uh, I measured it so you can quite easily there that that's four standard spools and I don't think it would actually take five no so four standard spools uh, across the box and then the loose coils it nearly nearly goes in but not quite you can see it doesn't quite go in so all my smaller test coils can go down the side and these bags are actually open so um, you know the, the moisture in the bags can come out the bags obviously there uh, so I know ex exactly what I've got because the filaments do look pretty much the same so this is how I store my filament and I, I'm quite happy with how it's working um, 
can see the big holes just laying nice and flat like so. <clears throat> These are the meters. Little AAA battery in the back. Gives you the displays that I, I'm looking for. So that one's going to go back in. These are the uh, electronic dehumidifiers. Now they are uh, recharged by plugging them into the mains. These are 240 volt ones and basically they've got some uh, dehumidifying crystals inside. When they're delivered to you, the crystals inside this little window here are pink because obviously they've been absorbing moisture whilst they've been in storage. Just plug them in overnight and the crystals go blue. You can see the crystals inside the window are blue. Then all I do, I just put them in the in the box put the lid on so you can see the moisture, the moisture levels as he gone up because I've opened the lid but give that a few hours and uh, it will drop down again so um, <clears throat> humidity levels in the UK or in, in this house at the moment is 53% now I know if you're in warmer climates in America your humidity can go up an awful lot. I mean I've had some nice holidays out in the States and sometimes the humidity is unbearable because us Brits we're just not used to that humidity. Um, so I hope you guys have found this useful uh, and the, the products were very inexpensive. I can't remember what I paid for the box but that was £12 I think UK pound. If you're buying a box just check how the, the lids join so a lot of the boxes don't have two flat surfaces which is critical um, I'm very happy so um, I hope that you you can now store your filament <coughs> it's a nice way to store a filament all in one box anyway and if you, you get more filament just buy another box they will stack on top of one another and they take up very little room anyway that's uh, Andy for now signing out and um, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up or post a comment on the bottom. Uh, comments are always useful for the community. Uh, tell me how you store your filament and if you're in the States or warmer climates and you've done something very similar I would be very happy to know um, what the difference in humidity is from inside to outside the boxes. Um, again if you're in a air conditioned environment I'm sure it's going to be different um, in this house we we have no air conditioning as in Britain it's not warm enough to have, <laughs> to have it um, anyway post some comments let's have a chat about what we're doing and how we can keep our 3d filament uh, moisture free uh, again if you're not sure why we're storing it in a moisture free environment it's because some filaments like um, nylon uh, for one does absorb moisture and when you start printing it you'll get the uh, molten filament uh, hissing and popping where the uh, water moisture in the filament is being heated by the hot end and it can affect the print so that's why uh, we keep it in boxes now again if you haven't used your nylon filament for a while or any high temperature filament you can always pop it in the oven at a low heat for a few hours and that will help to get rid of any moisture but this is how I do it so that's another video this is Andy from GAA Tech signing out many thanks bye bye